Yeah, of course. So um, law, lawyers infamously known, or city solicitors are infamously known as starting later um, than most people. So we tend to get into the office around between 9 and 9.30, maybe even 10 o'clock some days. You get in, you will have calls in your diary, or you may have meetings that you need to attend to. Most of that is managed through email. So um, we'll be constantly checking emails to make sure we know what needs to be done. Um, say I'm working on a transaction, I may that day be specialised in just doing drafting all day. I might need to have a call with the client to discuss certain points in the drafting. So going back to real estate, if we're buying a property, then I might need to talk about uh, talk to my client about, are you really interested in this um, tenant you've got in this uh, building? Or, you know, there's this problem in this building. So how do you want to deal with it? How should we deal with it? So it really depends. So your day is split between basically calls with clients and calls with lawyers on the other side meetings it could be internal meetings as well so management of the business um talking to other people in your team about how and the other thing you've got to remember is that law firms are businesses we are all charged with making sure that we are going out and selling our services because clients don't just randomly turn up at your door and say we want you to do our work so we're all responsible for making sure that people know our business who what who we are what we do so we always constantly um doing initiative, business development initiatives, they call them. So days can be split doing all sorts of things like that. I think part of working in a, a big law firm means that there are lots of other things that you can get involved in too. So for example, I'm on the charity committee and we often have meetings at lunchtime or different times throughout the day and talk about kind of new initiatives or new projects that we want to get involved in. And then there's other things like I play netball for the firm and stuff like that. So there are lots of other kind of things that you can be doing around your day to day life. I'm with you. Now, now, now let's get to the point. So are we, are we talking about open plan office? You can see all your colleagues around you. Is that how it looks? Is that, is that the, the landscape? Well, I think it's different for everyone, but we've actually just moved into we have uh, either three person or five person offices now. Okay. Um, but yeah, they're all separate. So you, it's not kind of, for us, it's not open plan still, but I don't know, what about you guys? I'm not sure of it. So, um, so we all have nice, and uh, is this is the same, uh, nice brand spanking uh, buildings in the middle of the city, which is all very nice. But even within that, American law firms tend to have quite discreet offices. So we do actually uh, now share offices, but that's quite a new development. It used to just be each person to their office. Um, Notwithstanding that, it is the, the whole environment is encouraged within the team to allow people to talk to each other. So you're constantly going into other people's offices. You're constantly sure. having calls in other people's offices. Uh, I think my day sounds very similar, obviously in a different area, but very similar to Izzy's and, and Davina's. Um, but what I would say is that so as you get more senior, your the way your day looks changes. So initially, you're there, in effect, the first year or so you are the general dog's body you, you're doing lots and lots of work for lots of different people um you are uh, doing some of the drafting but it's obviously heavily reviewed by your supervisors and um it's much more about a learning process and quite often you're in meetings just to sit there and listen and learn and take notes um and as you get more senior um and i you know I, i'm now eight years qualified and uh, actually quite often my day now is just full of phone calls and full of meetings in a way that and it's and you know these are calls and meetings that I'm having either on my own or with a junior lawyer by the side of me taking notes and that that's the shift you kind of change your seats if you like to get closer to the phone and uh, closer to the actual meetings with people um, and that you know you do see a real shift and it's kind of the the mid you know we really do talk about junior lawyers mid-level lawyers and then senior associates and then partners and, and actually that concept, those three stages, you really do see a shift in how your day looks. And my, my, my day is far more full of calls and meetings um, sure. than it was when I was a junior lawyer. I'm with you. And then, and then let's just talk about um, what you like most about being a lawyer or being a solicitor. Can you talk us through that, Piers? And are there any peak moments you've experienced? Yeah, I, I, again, what I like about it is that it is very intellectually stimulating. Um, and it can be intellectually demanding quite a lot of the time, which had, comes with its own stresses and difficulties, but it means that you're never bored. Um, you're always striving to, to do more and understand more. And again, 
um, no one understands everything. And there's always going to be things to learn and always things to develop. So it, it really does mean that, that you keep yourself occupied, no matter how senior you are or how long you've been doing it. Um, and again, there, there, there are stresses and strains to that. You know, we are, in, in, at the end of the day, a service provider. Um, our clients demand a lot from us because for them, and it's important to, to recognize this, and sometimes we forget it, for them, quite often, the things that they're talking to us about are the biggest deals they've ever done in their lives. These are, the, you know, these are enormous things for the client. For sure. us, it, we do it every day. We just do it, sure. do it with a different client. But we've always got to be conscious of that and spend time thinking yes they're being unreasonable or yes they're being demanding but acknowledging that actually for them this is huge and so it's on us to make make sure it goes as smoothly as possible mm -hmm.